Today we have my friend David visiting us and he challenged me to cook something different, something that he never tried before, something good and weird at the same time. And a crazy idea popped into my mind right away. Let's cook some organs. Most people is afraid of eating organs. Maybe it's because of the stigma it brings to mind or because it's something we don't eat every day. But if you've ever been in any Latin restaurant before, I'm sure they have it there in the kitchen ready to order. Organs are among the most tender and flavorful things to eat. And there is no better way to cook it than on the grill. And that is the idea. So now let's go and buy some organs. There is a little hidden place in Florida that is unique. A supermarket where you can find the best beef together with the most amount of fish. It is crazy, it is good, and I want to show it to you. It is called Broward Meat and Fish Market, and here you can find from the most beautiful tomahawk steaks to lamb head to everything in between. But today we are buying organs, so to the organs we go. Here we have chinchillines, sweet bread, and kidneys and heart. Good stuff. Let's get all these beauties and let's go to cook them up in the most delicious possible way. What's that? You want to learn? Come with us because I'm feeding my friend Debbie with the most exquisite, tender, juicy, delicious and beautiful organs he will ever eat. Well, we are back home and ready to start preparing the organs. I will go one by one with the preparation so you have time to take notes. First, the chinchulines. Chinchulines are the small intestine of the cow, and they are also the ones that takes the longer to cook, so better get them started right away. These chinchulines come already nice and clean, but in case you want to feel better, all you need to do is to rinse them up with warm water. Now we will create a very simple marinade consisting of seven garlic cloves, one tablespoon of black pepper and salt. Set it all in a bowl and add the chinchulines to it. And once it is all ready, I will add about one cup of lemon juice. And this whole thing is gonna be marinating for about one hour before getting them to cook. The other thing we have here that needs our immediate attention will be the kidneys. The best way to prepare the kidneys is if you marinate them for a little while before cooking them. So let's start the process. Sometimes when you buy the kidneys, they come with a membrane that covers the entire piece and that has a lot of fat. If you get them like that, all you need to do is to remove all that fat and membrane by being careful not to cut the kidneys. Any unwanted cut will allow the juices to escape and that will make the kidneys chewy and not too flavorful. Next step will be to cut them in half, add salt, pepper, and the juice of one entire lemon, and let them rest in the fridge until they are ready to cook. Next, we will work with the heart. Beef heart are pretty big and they shouldn't be cooked whole. So we're gonna be cutting this heart into cubes and set them in a marinade for about half an hour before cooking. For the marinade, we will use five garlic cloves, chili pepper, oil, dry oregano, half a cup of Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire <laughs> sauce, I think I say it right, salt and pepper. Add it all to a bowl we we'll specially prepare and mix them well. This is going to be in the fridge for about half an hour. And now it is time for the sweet bread. The last thing we will be cooking today will be sweet bread. Sweet bread are beef glands and there's two types of them. One is found in the base of the neck and the other one is right behind the tongue. And here there is no need to marinate. All we need is to add salt before getting them on the grill and everything is gonna be all right. Well, the fire is going, the grill is ready and the cook is about to start. First, let's take the chinchulines out and cut them into circles. That will allow them to cook well from each side and that shape will be able to hold more lemon juice. 
Oh yeah, to the chinchulines and sweet bread, we will be adding lemon juice every 10 minutes. For the hearts and the kidneys, we created a simple mix of olive oil, lemon juice, and minced garlic. And we will be brushing this mix on them pretty often too. The chinchulines and sweet bread has to be cooked at very high temperature. The hearts and the kidneys, we want to keep it at medium. And we have them all cooking. You can see how things are coming along here. About half an hour into the cook, you can see the chinchulines and sweet breads coming along really nicely. We will be flipping them in a little bit. The secret for the kidneys not to get chewy is to keep them moist. If you let them dry out, then it won't be fun to bite into them. Everything is ready to go. All we need to do is to take them out of the grill and let them rest for about 10 minutes before cutting into them. Let's All right, my friend. Yes. <laughs> we have a lot of food in here. There's still more food in the grill. But we're going to try it, man, because this guy's driving me crazy. He wants to try it already. <laughs> Starving. All right, we have some forks in here. Okay. What do you want to try first? Uh, kidney, man. Let's go for the kidney, man. What is the kidney? This is the kidney. Yeah, that's the kidney, right? Yeah. Okay, right? Yes, let's go for it. It's like perfectly cooked, right? So it's not like gushing out. Not at all. It's very nice. It's not well done, let's call it like that. Mm -hmm. It has a little bit of the bite in the outside anyway. Exactly. But it's, uh, I would describe it like a liver taste mm -hmm. with a little bit more of the hotter bite. Mm -hmm. But it is delicious. I love it. You like yes, it? Yeah. Good? I love it. All right. Let's go. You want to eat my heart now? Yeah. <laughs> I want to eat your heart. Sure. Let's see the heart. Let's see I this. This is the heart yeah, right. right here. So this, right. Is, this is basically the way it's cut. It's almost like, like a steak. You said, it's like right? a steak. It's mm -hmm. called. It's cut to. Uh, it's cooked to medium. Okay. And um, that's the way I like it. It's a little bit more tender that way. Okay. So let's see. Let's go for it. Sure. I would never know it's a heart. You would think it's steak, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Oh, wow. And it's not overcooked. It's not overcooked. It's nice and juicy still. Yes, sir. Wow. And the idea with this is to get the outside cooked well, but the, the inside of the heart take a longer time to cook. So it doesn't it doesn't overcook really easy is what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. But the flavor is still there. Still, again, it's, it's a little bit like a liver, but more meaty. Yeah. More steaky flavor in it, more fibers in it, too. Exactly. And uh, it is delicious, man. Another very dense organ, yes, right? Really and dense. I love what it was marinated in. So it's like almost like a chimichurri, right? Exactly, exactly. Mm, so a lot fun. of lemon, a lot of salt. That's the way you eat it. Wow. Let's go for the. Oh, what's next? What's next? Let's go for the sweet hair. Oh, yeah? Sweet bread, I'm sorry. Where is it? Where is it? There's one here. I'm like forgetting what everything is here. Yeah. Okay. Let's go for it. Let's do it. Well, yeah. Ah. My too. Guys, leave me some. Don't eat the whole thing. Is there more? Yeah, there's more over there. Come on. This Man, mm. that thing is so creamy inside. Mm. It's so good. The taste of this thing is unique. There's nothing you can describe it with. Yeah. And it's, it's so good, man. I mean, if you didn't know what it was, you'd think it's like, like a meat stuffed with cheese because of the creaminess. It has a completely different texture. Mm -hmm. It's creamy inside. It's amazing. And it's toasty outside. Yeah, it's man, good, man. Crispy. Yeah. I love it. Well, oh my gosh. We have to go for the chinchulines <laughs> now. I know you're not going to like it. <laughs> Let me eat like 10 in a row, bro. Chinchulines, <laughs> I can eat this thing like 10 in a row. Mmm. The salt level. <laughs> Why not? We're on the salty tails here. Man. <laughs> chinchulines are great. Wow. I mean, we, we put them in here. Like 50 minutes ago, so they got a little colder, mm -hmm. but they are freaking awesome. No, they're great, and they, they're they very different in terms of an organ. It's You would think it's straight fat. 
Yeah. At first, you know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I compare it with uh, chicharrón. Mm -hmm. It's crunchy. Uh, a chicharrón with meat, you know. It's crunchy outside. It's uh, creamy inside. It has a really good taste, like really. a fatty taste, like baconish taste. But it's green. It's amazing. You haven't seen her. She's been behind the scenes here helping us. All the time. I'm the one that's cleaning everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ching ching. Thanks, ching ching. Thank you so much. Listen, you, uh, we have this you. side here. So this is why. Ching ching. Salud que haya, que belleza sobre. Woohoo! Thank you. <laughs> my favorite has always been ching ching. Oh my God. And molleja. That molleja. That, that molleja came out perfect. Oh, yeah. I got to try the molleja. Mm -hmm. Listen, here here in the U.S., we eat a lot of beef yeah. and a lot of good products, and we forget about the organs, and the organs have been uh, the main thing that people used to eat before yeah. mm -hmm. to get big and strong, you know, like me, you know. If you want to get like me, you have to eat the organs, okay? By the way, <laughs> liver, liver is a superfood, so... Exactly, oh. exactly. All these are considered superfood. The kidneys are amazing. It has a lot of iron into it. It has a lot of good minerals. And it's mm. amazing for, for your metabolism and for your body. And everything else is the same thing. Maybe gods are not the greatest thing ever to talk about, but to taste, mm. they're great. Though they are. Mm -hmm. Wow. Guys, thank you so much. No, hold on. We have the dessert. Now you have to try it because it's going to be even better. Mm. Oh, it's coming along. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> if you thought the other one was better, no, that nah. is like crystallized. Like right? said. Oh, this is incredible! It makes it even sweeter, yeah. Miss Ninja. Why we don't have any ice cream here? <laughs> well, guys, do you see all these beautiful things that are happening here? I will tell you this, man those sweet breasts they were delicious, brother. Ninja that thing approved. was amazing. And David's been here. <laughs> David's <laughs> been here. Love it. Guys, if you want to check him out, he's a good friend of mine. Go to David's Been Here yes. on YouTube. Check him out. He's going all over the world eating the most amazing stuff that you can even imagine. And you're going to love him. So give him some love. And if you like this video, please hit us with the like. Lots and lots of likes. Subscribe to the channel. Share with your friends and family. And let me know in the comments down there what do you it's think about all this crazy stuff. Do it, do it. Do you like the organs will make you hungry. Whatever, man, just put it down there in the comments. That's all for today. But remember that I love you. Mm, love you too. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one. You love them? You love them. You love, love them. them. I love you! <laughs>